Hey YouTube, this is Brett, and uh, today what I have for you is just a little list of the top five Mac applications that I think are the uh, top five free Mac apps, so let's just get right into it. First one I'm actually using right now, it's called Bean, and it's this free word processor that you see right here, and um, it's not really a replacement for Pages or Pages or Microsoft Office Word for Mac, but it's definitely better than the usual text editor if you don't really want more of a text made type thing. Just for making lists like you see I did here and really really useful and I wouldn't you could write a report or something with it but it's got all really what you need fonts, colors, all the different styles you can highlight. You can actually customize this bar and do all different things with that so that's a pretty cool app and you can find it over at bean-os10.com and it's free, so it's great. And all these apps I'm showing you are free. And it works on uh, Intel or PowerPC, so that's cool. And uh, they're all pretty small downloads that I'm showing you. The good thing about Bean is that it's compatible with uh, Microsoft Office. And I think it's compatible with Pages. But you can uh, save it as RTF and RTFD, which is the Bean. But it's identical to uh, RTFD. That's identical to the Bean format that they make. So on to the next one, it's VLC, and this can play pretty much anything you want. The website's right here. I'll just show that to you really quick. And this is a small download also, 40 megabytes. And it can pretty much play anything. It can play Windows Media, I believe. It can play MKV, it can play MPEG-4, it can play 3GP, it can play pretty much anything you throw at it. All the different quick times, anything you want. So that's pretty cool. Can download that over at videoland.org. Next one is Boxy, and this is a uh, media center application. So uh, Boxy is um, a free download. We'll go over to their website and check it out. And this is if you want to turn your Mac into a media center, if you have it close to your TV, and that's what I actually do. Just run a long HDMI cable over to my TV. And uh, really useful if you want to stream all your movies and stuff to your TV. And it doesn't stream it, but it's just connected to your Mac, so you make your Mac full screen in uh, Boxy. And uh, I'll show you that really quick. It's definitely great that it's free also. A lot of these programs that I'm showing you are free. Pretty much you see I customize the picture behind it. It's very customizable. You can go over to your movies, and right now, all these movies. And uh, you just choose the source where you want. You can go home. You can go into the app cent center where you uh, can do all these different Netflix. You can stream your Netflix account if you have any uh, Netflix account. You can do the instant streaming. You can go into Revision 3, which I really like if you want to watch that whole Techzilla or HD Nation or any of those. So it's pretty cool with that. Last FM, Wired, Flickr, YouTube, anything you really want. So it's pretty cool if you don't feel like uh, paying for a cable box or something like that. You can do all those different things. You can do your music and photos pretty much like a front row. So it's pretty much a replacement for front row because we all know front row is not that feature intensive. So that's Boxy. And all these apps again are free. Next one uh, is Transmission if you like to uh, torrent at all. And this, as opposed to uTorrent, I like uTorrent but I think Transmission is a little faster and uh, it's simpler. uTorrent's great but U Transmission has that online uh, interface you can log in and check out what you're doing. You have these groups and everything. So here's one of their screenshots from it. To show you can do the groups, and I'll I'll just open transmission quick for you. You can get that over transmissionbt.com, and I'll have these links all in the uh, description of this video. So it's a very simple little application. You can open your torrent file if you have one. So I'd go to my downloads. That's where I keep them, and you click on that. You can choose what you want to do from the torrent, what you want to download. It's very simple. And again, torrenting is illegal, depending on what you download, but it's up to you. And the fifth application is called Seashore. And uh, I tied it with GIMP, because they're pretty much the same application. GIMP is a little better, but I chose Seashore because it runs natively on the Mac. So you can find that over at seashore.sourceforge.net. That's actually spelled that wrong. Sorry about that. 
Oh, I can't spell at all. Hmm. Okay, so we found the website. You can download it. Pretty much it uses the GIMP as its like main core, but very fast. Only annoying thing about GIMP is that you have to run it with uh, X11 running too, so it kind of slows down your Mac a little bit. But I'd go with the Seashore if you want to just do some simple stuff, not really Photoshop replacement like GIMP kind of is. But those are my top five applications that are free for the Mac. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next video with hopefully a uh, Western Digital hard drive review that I picked up. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.